Alright, hello. We are outside of Harbor Freight. Uh, that's where you can get this lovely magnet with 90 pound pull strength. Um, you can get them on Amazon. I got one for, I think, $14 that I planned on returning as long as Harbor Freight had these in stock, which thankfully they did. They are $4.99 from Harbor Freight. Can't beat that. So, yes, we are going to try to stick this on a locomotive that's not going very fast, but it is rocking a lot. So our test for this, now, keep in mind this test is not going to be whether or not it sticks to the car, because that would be reckless, because if there was even a decent chance that it would fly, fly off the car at highway speeds, well, this just wouldn't be a good idea. But no, this test is to see if the magnet moves, if it stays exactly where we put it, and uh, this is going to be a nice long distance test. I am here in New London, Connecticut, driving down to Pennsylvania, so we are going to see just how well this magnet holds up. So I'm going to place it right here underneath the mirror to see if it moves at all along the door. Uh, I have this nice rubber mat that we're going to stick behind it. I'm going to super glue the mat to the magnet uh, later before the finished product is done, but that's not really important for it to stick to the car at all or to any metal surface. So we're going to see it's pretty magnetic. It's That's not going anywhere. I mean, it's going to be tough enough to get this thing off. That's what this thing is for it's got the tabs here you can pull it off but it's gonna be stuck on there pretty well so that's the hope and we'll see what the test uh, yields we're back here in Pennsylvania it's been about four hours of highway driving about 200 miles average speed 65 miles an hour plus and uh, doesn't look to have moved an inch it's uh, pretty solid pretty successful test there um, so yeah if that thing can hang on at 65 miles an hour for four hours plus some country roads yeah I think it'll hold on to a steam locomotive for an hour all right let's look at how to build it let's get into how we're actually gonna make it uh, here we have our little bit of rubber mat this is to protect your paint because uh, if this just goes against the side of your car it could be damaging to paint or the side of the locomotive don't want to damage the paint on the cab um, so having that little bit of rubber there protects the paint. Uh, this is the roll that you can buy. It was $8 on Amazon. Uh, it's 36 inches long by 4 inches wide, which is perfect for these little 3 inch uh, diameter magnets. So I cut one off. It's pretty easy. Rubber cuts easy. And then you take some rubbing alcohol of any kind and you rub it against the rubber to clean it, you rub it against the magnet, and of course you rub it against the top here because the steel from the packaging is going to be a little greasy, um, but we will get to that with step two. So, first step here is we get some glue. Um, it doesn't really matter what kind, it doesn't have to be the strongest. Um, this is old glue, so I have to poke a hole in it. And then I'm just going to put a little bit of glue. Again, this is not the most important thing doesn't have to be the sturdiest because the magnetic powers are going to keep this uh, rubber thing, rubber mat stuck on there. So we're not too concerned about how much this stays, but should be fine. So yeah, you're going to get your fingers a little gluey. That's okay, that's how you get an even glue and then after that pretty simple just plop it right in the center now the best way for this to dry is to throw it on something magnetic I have a fridge here let's I have no idea actually if it is oh it is magnetic that's fantastic imagine if they had fridges that weren't magnetic and then you just plop it on there that's gonna stay and that's gonna hold and give it a half hour or so, it'll be dry, and it'll move on to step three. All right, we are moving on to step three, which is the final step. Uh, the glue is actually not really set because it's been like two minutes, but that's okay. We'll give it more time to set after we finish this step. I would recommend waiting, but I'm not going to because I don't need to. Here's a little GoPro mount that's going to go on here. 
I'm just going to set it right in the center just like that. Um, I'm not going to use any extra glue. It's got this 3M stuff on the back which is super strong. Uh, I have used 3M command hooks in my college dorm and I've heard horror stories of paintings falling in the middle of the night. Well, I have hung probably a record number of paintings and prints and airplane propellers and things that you would not expect to hang on college dorm walls, dorm walls such as a locomotive number plate that weighs, say, 10, 15 pounds. No problem. I didn't have a problem with that. So these 3M things are extremely strong, so I'm not too worried about that. And like I said, we cleaned this with uh, alcohol, so that is nice and sturdy, nice and dry, if I can actually get this thing off. See, this stuff is so good that I can't even get the um, part off that allows me to use it. That's how sticky this stuff is. I don't know how you're supposed to use this. We're experiencing technical difficulties. Alright, so we got it on there eventually, got the thing off, just stuck it on. And, uh, yeah, it's a little off-center, but who cares? It doesn't matter. So, yeah, the glue is not completely dried, but I'm going to stick it back on the fridge, and by the time I come back, it should be dry. And this mount will be nice and sturdy.